Hello guys and welcome back to another exciting family week in Ghana. If today is your first time seeing me on this channel, my name is Charles Enchi, I'm a tax consultant and I'm passionate about farming. Yes, today I'm super uh, excited and happy because today I'm here to talk about fish farming. I've been wanting a fish farmer for far too long that today finally I've gotten someone, a colleague of mine, who is into fish farming. Today, specifically, I'm at East Legon. Yes, as you can see, I'm not walking in any bush anywhere. Today, yes, I'm actually in the city. So East Legon is one of the like the main towns in Accra where at least most of the rich guys stay around. I'm here to visit Gabi. We are here to look at fish farming as I said. Join me as we get into the video. And before we get into the video, the goal is to reach 800 subscribers by the end of this month. So please do me a favor by clicking on the red button to subscribe, hitting on the notification button to get notified as and when I drop new video. So join me as we visit Gabi and get into the video. So yeah, we are about to get into the video. Catch us as we drive. Sure. All right, um, Mr. Gabi, please can you tell us a bit about yourself? All right, so uh, my name is Gabriel Latte. Um, some some of my friends call me Latman. Latman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Latman. Latman. Yeah. Uh, is that name gotten from high school or? No. So Latman is uh, my dad's name. Okay. And uh, at a point, I asked him if I could use it for my business, and he said yes. So then, sharp. I took the name, and I like the name. Latman. Because yeah, the name is nice. Gabriel Latte, so kind of like Latman. Latman. Uh, yeah. Works. Works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I completed Legon. That was in uh, 20, 20, 2019. 2019. Yeah, I completed 2019, and then um, I served as a TA. Uh, oh, yes. Nice. Which department? Theatre Arts. Yeah, Theatre Arts department. Then. Um, Whilst I was doing my TA ship, I started a, a business. So I had a concept whilst I was on campus. So that was uh, manufacturing of shoes. So what we do is, you just send us any picture of your, the shoes you like, or a shoe you've seen in town, and then we try as much as possible to model and then get you that kind of shoe. So that was the business I was doing. And then um, I also got some from outside, and then I was kind of like retailing and then all of that. So uh, at a point we, all, we were all hit by COVID and so we came home. So when we came home, all of us were just cool like that. So in the course of, uh, I think, uh, ending of last year, 2020, uh, so many things happened and then life just changed all of a sudden. Of a sudden. Yeah. So when life changed, uh, a few friends of mine, I, that was when uh, I realized that you know, I needed to get something else to, to, to back whatever thing that I, I, I am doing. So uh, COVID stopped the shoe business? So uh, yes, so uh, during the COVID period, most of us are using COVID as an excuse, but sometimes it's because we didn't give uh, the, the, the thing what it's deserved, the, the, the level of, yes. But then to some extent, COVID kind of like just placed everything on hold for a while because people were not buying and all of those things. Sure. I think because of uh, vows day and things, and people really try to buy somewhere and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. So, 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 at a point, yeah, I decided no, I need to get something attached to this, and then I was asking myself, what, 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 what. Then uh, the concept of agriculture came into mind. Frankly speaking, I have never ever thought in my life that I would venture into agriculture. agriculture. Me, I was, I, I would say that I was so anti agriculture because. <laughs> ah, why? No, no, <laughs> Reason being is, reason being is, reason being is, I have the concept many people have, like, man, you, like, a white color in a way, so. Okay, I get you, I yeah, get you. so you want to, ah, Nanawaku school, why you say, why, why you come to, yes, so, <laughs> so, yes. So, it, it, it never crossed my mind, it never ever crossed my mind. So, I think I came across quite a number of uh, information, reading and, and stuff. I realized that, you know, agriculture is also an aspect, depending on how you brand it, 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 it can give you even more. Sure. So because of that, I decided to look at what I could do. So under agriculture, I decided to do poetry. Yeah, okay. poetry. And so I, I thought about it. I did my own estimate and all of that. Then I decided, no, before I start my poetry, why not get a, f a, a vast land so that I'll produce my own poetry feed, so that I'll just 
so maize and all of so those. So who come and buy the feed from you to go and feed their poultry? No. So what what I wanted to do was all the farm produce are going to be used for feed for my poultry. Okay. So I did a calculation for the the, the amount of feed my poultry will need for a year, and then try doing so maize has if i'm doing maize for two seasons i i know how i'm going to do that calculation and all of that so i did that calculation and everything then it came to land charlie uh to acquire the land from. yes 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 i have I, I spoke to someone he says i should go to um some place around every some some people to, my mom to say let's go to dan trust uh, someone to say let's go to body asset so whilst i was considering all of these things i was asking myself like ah Charlie, this thing there, in that form, land, mm. yeah, you have yeah, to yeah, yeah. go. I think well, that's one of the difficulties people face when they want to start farming. Yeah. People yeah. are interested, but where to start, where to get the land and start, yeah. that's the main problem. And where to get quality land, quality land, like land that is accessible, land that you know go and you go and waste a lot of money yeah. because you are doing so soil profiling and all of that and you are checking the soil and then Charlie, this side is okay, you know, so it's like, Charlie, this thing there, it will long go. So a friend of mine came to visit me some time ago and then he told me that oh, he's doing catfish farming. Okay. And uh, he, he, was, he, was, he just mentioned it in the conversation. So I told him that, oh, I have a pond in my house that we don't use. And I was like, oh, if you, oh, Gabby, are you serious? I was like, yes. So then we ended the discussion over there. So I was there and I was like, no, let me look at this whole catfish. Thing again so i went on youtube trying to look at whatever thing i could just get information yes and all of those things and i was like you know what let me try this thing out if it fails it has failed so let me, let me come in so you know first it was poultry yes then later your friendship in the idea of the catfish yes so what made you leave the poultry for the catfish was that the land factor or good so uh between the poultry and then the catfish i realized this uh if I'm going to do the poultry, the space is not going to be in my house. The resources I would need to do the poultry will be more as compared to the catfish. So I said, okay, let me just try and start something with the catfish. So I, I, I factored in all of these things and I was like, nah. It's not like the poultry is something I wouldn't do or is out of the, the picture. picture. But then immediately I'm doing catfish. catfish. And then also catfish, when you look at it, in a way, it's not like we are looking for quick money, but we are looking for money. <laughs> so, catfish within six months, they are up for maturity. Oh, okay. If you feed them well, sometimes within six months. So, by fourth to sixth month, you're already doing your 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 marketing. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Because the, the market yeah. For it. And then by the sixth month, you are cashing out. You are cashing out, taking them out, and then all of that, and then you are doing your your whole new process all over again okay yeah but then i am um, also with the i i looked at the poetry the poetry i was going for layers and that one was going to give me some money but then when i look at this one i can use this one to raise some money to start the poetry yes so then i was like okay then let me let me let me just go on with this okay. yes so if i may ask <clears throat> how much did you start with because i have viewers probably also interested in knowing the amount they can also start their own catfish so um, so so i started with the uh, mm -hmm. 100 cities for the fingerlings 100 cities yes so i have a white tank the white tank um i just took it for my moms so yes and then uh, for the feed for the feed uh, the bag of the feed is around um, 199 cities okay yeah that's at the time yeah it was 99 cities so, so how many kg so it's 15 kg 15, 15 kg and i just i just went for 100 fish so luckily they added five and then I was like, I was using that to monitor. So, so in totality, I would say less than 200 cities. I said something. Okay. Yeah. Some of the resources, I had them around me. I decided as much as possible to beat down the cost of that. So let's say plumbing, I tried doing my own plumbing some more and then all of that. And then... So the plumbing is also used to pump the water into it and also... Yes, yes. So, so initially for the tanks I started with, the white tank, uh, it was just... Uh, I didn't need any plumbing works. Okay. The white tank is just there. And then when you open, outlet, water comes, comes out. out. So and then I use pipe hole, the, 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 the normal one, to, 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 just to just pump water inside. So that was what I started with. So when I saw that they were responding well, then I decided to, okay, get an extra tank. So I got an extra tank. And I went in for 500 straight. I, I mean, I'm after the 100? After the 100, no, 500 straight. 
and then when I went for the 500, I also placed them in the initially when I went for the 500 because I had some pond, I placed them in the pond and I saw they started dying. So I took them out and I bought a new tank that was around 500 cities. Uh, the, new the tank is around 500 and I placed them in and that's all. Okay. That's all. That's all. That's all. So roughly, 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 I'll say less than 1,000, I had this thing around it. Yeah, less than 1,000, I had it at least to start something. And then also, within their first month and then their second month, you can handle their feeding. They wouldn't eat that much, so you can handle it. Okay. So, so the 15 kg will be enough? Yes. So, so the 15 kg that I bought that time is left with, uh, let me say, almost uh, two and a half kg. Yes. But normally I measure my feed with my scale. Feet. Yes. So I think around two and a half kg. That's since uh, December to uh, today. Okay. And I'm now going to buy new feed, uh, probably Monday, to bring me new feed. Because now the, the bigger ones, that is the ones that I started, that came in in December, they are looking bigger and so I want to give them the, the feed that's quite bigger and then I'll give the normal two and then to these guys. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Do you consider yourself as a farmer? Currently? Yes. Oh, currently, yes, yes, yes. I'll consider myself as a farmer. Reason being is I want to... Um, reason being is I, I realize this thing gives some level of joy. So I'll tell you this. If, if, if you feel depressed, start a backyard garden or something. I'm telling you, there were times where I was feeling so down when I come and I look at the fish just moving, I am okay. Like, I am okay. He's taking care of something. Yes. Yeah, like, at least I can see living things or whatever <laughs> moving. And, and, and it's because I, like, I was okay. Because there was a time I was so down. I was so down. And then I had to try as much as possible to just get something going. So when I look at them, it gives me some level of joy. So right now, I am trying to go even bigger. Because if I see more... I'll be okay. I'll be yeah. satisfied. So sure. now, for now, yes, you can call me farmer, and I like it. I, you know, I asked because most people don't like to be termed as farmers. As youth, we don't like. Oh, what do your job do you do? I'm a farmer. People feel uh, it's more of like a job for the agent. Those yeah. who don't really yeah. have nothing better to do with their lives. That's yeah. why people see farmers. Can you tell the people or my viewers, those who are watching, who? They're interested in farming, but also feel a bit that oh, farming is not that lucrative. Something is not that good. Something, good. something to tell them. Good. So what I'll tell you is this. Let's say you're a civil engineer. Let's say you're working at the bank and all of those things. Uh, the simple question I'll ask you is this. Uh, the, the current lifestyle you are living, are you, are you satisfied with it? And then two, when you look at the way farming is, it is because of the concept you've always had about farming. See, how you brand your farm is a different thing altogether. Sure. I am looking at this catfish. The, the, the concept I have is this. One, I'll export some. That is the smoked ones. Two, I am looking at getting new meals, delicacies, in relation to catfish. So I'm, I'm not just doing catfish because I want to just come and feed market. People are looking for, no. You get it. So I'm, 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 I'm even looking at not giving it to, uh, I'm looking at it from this concept, like households who need fresh from, fresh from the farm produce. And then pa, we come and give, give it to them. you. And then we even give you some recipes attached to it. We are not just we don't we don't just want to come again, come and just produce catfish to be sold in the market. You know, we want we want we want something that people will eat and feel like yeah, I'm eating something healthy, something that is straight from the farm and all of that. So yeah. even though I'm doing catfish, the probability that I'll add some vegetables and all of these things to it, yeah, that is purely organic. I will just go that way. So I'll tell you, if you are doing, if you are, you are any kind of work you are doing, I'm telling you, farming is actually some of the things that gives us fulfillment. Look at me like this. I, I have been depressed so much, and then looking at what I'm doing, I'm having that level of fulfillment. And then also, let's say this. I haven't been, I haven't been ever employed by somebody else. Now, the reason is this. I am building my capacity. And then if I build my capacity, maybe you would deem it to give me 3,000 CDs as my pay. Okay. You get it. Now I can do catfish business, and I can get five thousand. Only let's say I get two thousand five hundred cities. If I'm getting two thousand five hundred cities, and I can do another side business, I can do something else on the side, which is which could also be not ne necessarily farming, but an office related or something. Why not? So for farming, I would recommend that every single person 
should try and do something. Don't I'm, I'm, when I mean every single person, not necessarily do large scale, but at least do something, even if it's at the back of your house and you are eating the way you feel when you are eating it, it's a different thing altogether. I told you we have a uh, coconut in the course of the week. Sure. I didn't plant the coconut, frankly speaking, it was my mom. But then when I was eating the coconut, Charlie, I, I didn't feel okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't feel okay. You understand? So I think I think everybody should try something. Should try something. If you want to take it as a business, to give it the focus it needs, and don't don't mind anybody who says farmer, farmer. It's because they don't know who a farmer is. And I believe that I can change the concept of how people see a farmer to be like. Because when you go outside, people who are deemed as farmers. They are giving some level of respect. Exactly. It's here that we see farmers to be like... And, and, and one thing that hits me so much was, recently I realized that many people come from outside the country and they do farming. Oh there, yeah. There was, a, there was a video I was watching where a man came from the UK to also do fish farming. And I was like, he said he was IT specialist. I was like, IT specialist? <laughs> and and he's all of a sudden farming. Me. <laughs> Shit. And, and then you see another thing is this he said something that that really hits me he said in the uk he never thought of having a fish farm that means we have something here in africa in ghana that we don't know we don't know there's a lot of freedom here yes you you you, you can't even dream of having a farm you understand and then you're over here charlie you can do something at the back of your house and you can extend the not because this space like this i'm trying to increase the capacity to like five thousand by the end of this year so if i'm trying to increase by five thousand look at this space and i'm doing five thousand fish ah no no stop 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 i don't more need money. No, more money and i'm cool i'm cool like that so for me yeah 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 and those who don't like it don't worry we won't force you <laughs> we'll take your money and we'll give you the produce so no problem i like that I, so like, like just to wrap up i want you to Tell something. Most of the youth out there, some are done with national service. Yeah. Going retain, they are looking for jobs, high scholar yeah. jobs, and all. What advice would you give them? The advice I'll give to them is build your capacity as an individual. And then when you build your capacity as an individual, look at farming as a way of something you can use to make some money. In what sense? In the sense that it is something you can use some let me say limited resources. But then at the, in the long run, you can make some, some money. Rather than sitting in the house for one year, one and a half year, doing nothing. You are useless. I'm sorry to tell you that. Do something. Do something. If it's thousand cities, if it's... Some people are even using iPhones and bigger phones. I'm not saying it is not good to use those phones, you understand? But at least look at your life. Sitting down in the house, doing nothing. And then using some money, thousand cities, to do something that at the end of the year, you know that, oh, if there are two thousand cities, because why would you sit down? Why would you sit down? Hmm. Why would you sit down? Actually, this has been a challenge. I, I see most people who are done with school and thinking of finding jobs. Yeah, those ones are good, at least. Like I said, I'm a tax consultant, I work. But aside that, I'm also interested in farming, I also do farming. So if you are watching us and you are home, having, having nothing to do, you said it began with, let us, I think, 200 cities. 200, so let's say, pro, pro, let's say even if it's 1,000 cities. You can start your own cities. fish farming. You don't need anything. You don't yeah, yeah, at his home. He has a fish farm just right behind us. So yeah, you can start your own thing. So if you are watching us, I think you're going to get to the second part of the video where we have a look at the fish farm and what he does. Some tips that can help you also begin your own farming. Yeah. So if you are watching us or if you see me for the first time, I'm Charles Entry. I'm a task consultant and I'm passionate about farming. I do talk about farming on this channel. Can you do me a favor by clicking on the red button to subscribe? I hit the notification button to get regular updates as and when I drop new video. Join me next week as we get into the second part of our video to look at catfish in Ghana. I'll see you next week.